guys. No. Nah. Hey fishes, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brown and Nicole, and if you are a new subscriber, hey girl, hey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. <laughs> What's up, we back. <laughs> I'm gonna be getting ready. We're gonna be doing a little get ready with me. I'm just gonna be filling you guys in on what's been going on because in the vlog, I kind of touched on some things about me that were going on with me but i didn't really like get into depth if that makes sense because, you know it was girls night i was out with the, the girlies and they were just trying to go line up with it i don't think i'm gonna be putting on makeup because i'm not going anywhere but i might do a little brow i don't know we might do a little brow we might give the girls a little brow we might give them a little glow because we're looking a little dry right now first i'm gonna go in with this and again y'all make sure that you like comment and subscribe like let's be engaged let's you know talk to me because i'm gonna talk back like i don't care like i don't have nobody to talk to i want to talk back to y'all the gag is y'all why we got 173 173 subscribers mm. i could smell the 200 i can't wait i can't wait I can smell a 200. I'm gonna go on the cotton pad. See, this has been working good for my skin. Well, it's been doing what it needs to do. Um, I can't complain, but it's been doing what it needs to do, honestly. I usually do this, and then I put on my little um, Cetaphil, and we just leave that whole rocking. Mm-hmm. And y'all know every time I got the rope on, y'all know it's to get ready with me, so let's not even play. This is a cup that this is the cup that i got um for the secret santa thing that they got me it's a yeti cup as you guys saw in the other vlog um my girls night vlog i got fired from my job i don't know if i can say it now because i don't work there oh no maybe i really don't still don't want to put out oh my god there's a piece of hair on my nose i was working for this job it was a wedding venue company and it required me to do um you know do contracts proposals and you know just make sure that things were intact basically like when um clients would come in i would greet them and i would you know just make sure that they're good you know i was doing that but me and the boss we just weren't i don't know we just weren't really meshing together as much as we should and i kid y'all not this is the crazy part about it oh so for a while now she's been like saying little really slick things and i was telling my dad and my family members about it just about how like i feel like the way that she the way that the boss was talking to me was very passive aggressive and i just don't i just didn't like it because i feel like there's a certain way that you know sorry She's being very passive aggressive. I don't like the way she's talking to me because as a boss, there's a way that you can talk to me and you can give me constructive criticism, but it's all about your tone and the way that you do it. Like, let's say if I were to do something wrong, she would say to me, ugh, like, did you, like, do you know what you're doing? Or if I got something right, she'd be like, surprisingly, you got it right. Don't, I don't like backhanded compliments because it kind of makes me feel like you think that I am not capable of doing the job, if that makes sense. So that was happening for a while, but me and her, we had like a understanding that I'm gonna do the best that I can. I do at least like eight to nine contracts a day. So like sometimes there's gonna be minor mess ups in things that I do because I'm doing so much throughout the day. On Friday, Justine, it was a Friday. How you gonna fire me on a Friday? How? How you gonna fire me on a Friday? You just missed up my whole weekend. First of all, she didn't miss up nothing all day because I, I had a good weekend with my girls. Anyway, so. Sorry, I'm forgetting to get ready as we're doing this. Um, let's do the eyebrow. Should we do an eyebrow? Let's do an eyebrow. That's going on, and my dad was basically, you know, letting me know, you know, if you feel like you're being mistreated, you don't have to stay in a like my dad is a big a firm believer on you don't need to stay if you don't feel like that's for you. Like anything that's not for you, just but I was saying, I don't just want to up and leave. I want to, you know, take my... Because I was already planning on leaving, honestly. Because like I told you guys, I want to be in the law field. I want to... If I'm going to do that, I got my degree in law enforcement leadership. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something involving law in some way, shape, or form. Like, the only, the only things that are on my mind right now, if I'm being honest, is my lash business, me getting... Um, becoming a district attorney and this YouTube thing. Other than that, there is nothing else on my mind. If it doesn't have to do with any of those things, I really just don't have interest. And I just feel like she wanted me to be so passionate about the wedding industry 
but I just wasn't. I can't force myself. I did what I was supposed to do. If she needed a contract, I would give it to her. If she needed a proposal, I would give it to her, but I just guess I just didn't have that extra enthusiasm that she needed, which is fine. You know, I understand it's a business, it's a company. Let's fast forward. So she would say little slick things like, uh, you know, I could fire you, but I really like you. Baby, don't do that. You can buy, like, don't do that. So I was already applying to jobs as we were speaking, but then things were going smooth with us. So I'm like, okay, maybe things are getting better. And I know I'm not going to be working this job long term. So Mm. Oh, found it. I'm gonna do a little brown. Add it with the camera this way because y'all yeah, know it'd be spillage. Y'all. Uh, I messed up my brow thing. There's no pencil here, but we're gonna use what's left. So, you say sick, sick things like that. So, I already knew I wasn't gonna be at the job for long, but then things started to get better. Like, we started to get more of a understanding, I felt. And I was like, okay, you know, maybe it just was a little rocky. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt because I really do like the job. I really did like the company. It was nice. I really made, met some really good people there. So it's a Friday and um, I'm sitting at my desk and I'm editing because it's very slow. There's barely any calls coming in. I probably did like two contracts out of the day so i'm just like okay let me edit the video because i need to put it out like if i'm not doing anything i'm just going to be editing because i need to put out videos consistently as i'm doing that i'm i always sit there and i always talk to god i kid y'all not i said hold on let me i don't even have anything in here you guys i don't think i can use this anyway we might have to use a pencil do i even have a pencil study to act i know i'd be all over the place let's not act <laughs> Baby, we'll be in, we in like um, five videos deep. Baby, you know me by now. We friends, we cousins. <laughs> so it's Friday, like I said, I'm just sitting there editing. If I'm not, like if I'm not doing anything, I'm just gonna edit. Like everybody else does it. When they don't have work at their desk, they do something else. So she comes to me, so I'm editing and I'm talking to like, I'm as I'm editing, I'm praying. Like I'm, I'm talking to God out loud. And I said, God, if I'm supposed to do this YouTube thing, because I'm just, you know, just laughing while I'm editing. I'm like, if I'm supposed to do this YouTube thing full time, give me a sign. But I'm thinking that God is gonna, you know, probably, I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do, but I'm not thinking it's gonna be soon. Like now I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna have to wait on God's time to give me the sign. Kid y'all not, 20 minutes later, she comes up to me and she says, hey, can we talk for a second? And I'm like, okay, lady. Like, I already know what's up. Like, and I forgot to tell y'all, somebody called because i was also at the phones too somebody called and was like hey um i'm i you know just had an interview for the yada 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 position which is my position so you've been one of me y'all ho okay i see how you like to play i was already in the air so i kind of already knew what was going on i wasn't like oblivious totally oblivious i just didn't think that she would like fire me on a friday out of nowhere um for nothing takes me over she's like oh. In fact, it doesn't even matter what she said. Moral of the story, the lady said I was fired. So I'm looking at her, and I think she, she was trying to pacify the situation. She's like, you know, I really do care about you, and I really do. And in my mind, I'm like, come on, Jesus. Uh, what more do you want from me? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, when I said the sign, I did not mean for, for me to lose my job. Like, that's not what I meant. But then I'm thinking, like, wow. I'm really not meant to work for... I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't feel as if I'm meant to work for somebody or work for an employer. I feel like I am in a position in my life or I'm meant to do certain things where I need to be in control. I like to be in control of what I'm doing. I notice that about myself. Not that I can't take constructive criticism, but... I like to... I don't know how to explain it trying to say is i feel as if i'm supposed to be my own boss and i think that god is really trying to place me into that realm he's trying to put me there he's trying to put me in that place he does not do anything by mistake i did not lose the job by mistake i did not get fired by mistake some there's a reason why i got fired and honestly i'm not saying that i'm about to become a big youtube sensation overnight obviously not but what i'm saying is he got a plan for me he, he got me that's what i'm saying he got something. God got something up his sleeve. But I'm not gonna just sit on my, I'm not just gonna sit on my ass all day. That's what I'm not gonna do. Um, At first, the first couple of days, like once my friends were gone and they hit reality, I'm like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm about to do. 
it's like hustle like we're gonna i'm gonna hustle like i'm not gonna be i'm never gonna be in a predict i know he's never gonna put me in a predicament where i'm popped and panicking he's never gonna put me in a position where i have nothing and i know that for sure because my faith is very strong and i've been i've been proven wrong plenty of times he showed me like yo i got you this is too religious for some people i understand i get it but this is just my faith this is just what i've grown up on and i've been proved it's been proven to me that god is real and that he has me like he got me i don't need nobody i don't need to convince anybody i don't need anybody to be convinced by me it just is what it is and i just think it's a blessing in disguise um it's like like it happens i'm not the only person in the world to get fired from a job you know what i mean i'm gonna line out my eyebrows with this oh we hitting the pan yeah this is a fat brush but i don't got i don't got my slim one so we gonna work with what we got i'm not the first girl to get fired so i'm not gonna play the victim card why me i'm not gonna be like oh my god falling on the floor and even when i found out i really wasn't falling on the floor hysterically crying i just wasn't raised like that like my grandma i come from a jamaican household so god forbid if i did do that my grandma would have been like girl what are you doing like <laughs> like i don't do that and i'm not saying if you do do that it's anything wrong it's just like we know my grandma raised me to know when one door closes another one opens you know i'm not worried and your girl has some tricks up her sleeve bookie i'm telling y'all i got some tricks up my sleeve okay i got something and i'm really excited y'all but let's really talk some tea and it also showed me y'all that i don't ever want to have all my eggs in one basket that was the issue i have my eggs in one basket when you have your eggs in one basket it kind of feels like the end of the world that's why i feel like i'm so serious about this youtube thing i'm so serious about my lash business i'm so serious and that's coming soon i can't wait for y'all to see that because the rebranding of it all baby put me on the map because <laughs> she's on the map i can't wait for like i was saying i can't wait for y'all to see everything that i have planned um, i'm really gonna put my best foot forward i'm gonna get something out of 2023 baby i'm telling you i'm like i'm leaving here with something <laughs> when i get up there first of all i'm gonna be a, i'm gonna be a millionaire by 25 i know that for sure at least y'all heard me y'all look back at this video when y'all see me a millionaire 25 and i wish and i can't wait till i get to a point where i can kind of like explain everything that's really going on with me and i feel like <sighs> y'all this one has been a ride it's not like i have a positive attitude towards everything but it's been hard it gets hard like it's not easy peasy lemon squeezy but it happens to everybody everybody has their own issues everybody has their problems the moment that you allow yourself to shut down and think why me oh it's gonna hinder you it's gonna make you slow down you always remember the bigger picture i know the bigger picture i can see the bigger picture in my head i know what i need my life to be like and i know what i need. I'm yeah bookie <laughs> i know the end goal and i know what i need to do so that's why i know i wasn't gonna be no planner at no wedding venue like girl i know that's why me losing the job wasn't like kind of like ah oh my god ah like it wasn't like because i knew that's not what i was gonna do and i'm a firm believer if i'm gonna do a job i'm gonna do some of my life yeah that's what really happened like lost my job on a friday but let's get off that topic let's talk about something else first of all let's talk about the tea let's really talk y'all don't feel like march has been weird i don't feel like march has been very weird and it's, i'm not even saying that just because i lost my job or i lost that job yeah, because i'm still employed in my head i actually put some setting spray first I might put some concealer, yeah. I don't know. I want to feel a little, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I thought I was going to do a, a fresh face, but we don't know. Make my eyebrows a little skinnier. Hmm. You got a shape. I need a shape. I know I was talking about it in the girls' chat. We touched on a little bit. Well, Jordan gave y'all a run now. But, y'all, yeah. Creed, baby. Mm-mm. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. And it's not even just about the men. Okay. Hello. No, let me stop. It was a good movie like that. I love Creed. Since the first one came out, I've been on it. Like, we, I don't play around with that movie. 
um shout out to michael b and shout out to the girl i don't know her name the girl that plays his wife i love her she's so cute now the eyebrows is looking a little a little bit better oh my god i guess i can tell y'all a little story time a little mini story time we're gonna talk about the time that i thought i was going out to dinner but a guy took me to a motel wait a minute who are you this was around this is what i was working at red lizzie and i always call it red lizzie because that was red lizzie if you know why i call it red lizzie i'll call it red lizzie for a reason because it was red lizzie up in there like it's nothing but first of all working at red lobster is not bad like it's, it was a good experience because it really woke me up to a lot of things but i'm not gonna lie y'all it was crazy nothing but drama i know can't do it i'm not doing that over some biscuits babe nah <laughs> anyway so i was working at red lobster at the time i was a bartender and you know, people would come in and out, and I would I would know some of the customers. But I'm so worked that there was this guy, right? First of all, everybody was flirting with everybody in there. I'm not even trying to spill sauce up in there, but y'all don't know what Red Lobster I'm talking about. So mind your business. First of all, up in there, it was nothing but drama. It was nothing but, you know, just ah uh, ah. Uh, but everybody liked somebody, and of course, you know, I liked somebody. But the person that I... The person that I liked at the time, it was just not a good mix. Like, I... Let's just cause the chase. I wanted to be, you know, I'm looking for a boyfriend. I see that. And he wanted to, you know, like, it was just like a little casual thing. And I don't do casual. Like, I don't do nothing casual, baby. It's either go big or go home. I was like, all right, let me just try to get, you know, I'm going to just do me. Like, that's what I was on. I was like, I'm going to just do me. Cool. Doing me, I'm very emotional. So me doing me, a lot I really wasn't doing me. I'm like, okay. So then I'm working and I'm cleaning up the bar one night and this guy comes in. But everybody knows this guy. Everybody's coming in. Everybody's like, yo, da 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 What are we going to call him? Because I need to call him a name. Let's call him Gorilla Glue because I got Gorilla Glue right here. Like, yo, Gorilla Glue, like, why you? Yo, what's up? Everybody know him. First of all, Gorilla Glue looks good. Bitch, I said you bad. First of all, Gorilla Glue looked real good. And I'm like, okay, but I'm not gonna pay him any money because I'm not I'm not in the dealings of really, you know, hyping you up. So Gorilla Glue come in, he sit at the bar, and he got a little attitude. He's one of those, he's one of those rough. He's very when Lola said I just wanna no, on the top, she was talking about him. Whatever, he said, my, I'm you know, it's about to close. So I'm looking at him like, nigga, what are you doing? Bar's about to close. And I had to clean up that whole thing. So it's like you sitting down, Boogie, I'm I'm trying to go. Like I'm I'm, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to I'm trying to be out the spot. Like I've been in there all day. Um one thing about Red Lobster, it was hot and when it was busy, it was very busy. Like I don't like you know what I mean? So he's sitting down, he's like, Oh, this is when you started working here. But he says with a real attitude, he's like, When you started working here, something you trying to press me. I'm like, I started working here. What did I say? I think it was like what, like five months. I said, I said it was like I started working here five months ago. And he's like, oh, okay. But I wasn't the only one at the bar. It was like two of us at the bar. So he says that the other girl goes and gets goes and gets his drink, right? Because I'm just trying to focus on cleaning up. It was like kind of like a buddy system. Like, girl, you clean up. You get him to drink. I'll clean up. Like, I'll start it up. I think that's enough. I just want a little, like, you know what I mean? And I want to put a little... Yeah, I'm itching to put... Not itching. Itching is crazy. Fight for that. Feeling to put a little bit. Just let's, do, let's just do a little bit. Let's just do it for the girls in the back. Let's just do a little. Just for the bitches in the back. <laughs> I see I'm gonna do a light thing, y'all, and y'all see what's y'all see what's going on. We created a buddy system. You go get the drink. I'll, you know. So I'm really not paying him any mind. He's cute, but I'm not paying him any mind. Like I don't not everybody who's cute you gotta talk to. You know what I mean? Like I'm not that type of show day. He's sitting there, she's getting him the drink, he's sipping the drink. He's like, and he has a real attitude. Like I'm talking about this boy had like an attitude problem. He's like he calls me over because I she went to go get like some water from the back because we had to wash. We had to wash everything. So he calls me over. He's like, yo, this drink is trash. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, like I'm thinking in my head, like, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I'm not making a drink over. <laughs> I'm not making a drink over. You have to sit that boo. <laughs> I don't even know why you're trying to be lit. It's a Wednesday. <laughs> He's like, nah, this drink is not good. So I'm like, uh, okay. He's like, you know, I used to work here. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like, he's trying to create conversation. I'm like, oh, that's cool. He's like, yeah. Um, he's like, yeah, I used to work here, whatever. But you mind if you can make me a new drink? I'm like, 
this nigga better tip good. Like, that's what I'm thinking in my head. This nigga better tip good. And I'm taking a tip. Like, I'm, I'm keeping it black. I'm taking a tip. Because you need to make the drink good, bitch. You had one job, one job only. You were supposed to make the drink. I was supposed to clean. He don't like the drink. So now, I'm taking a tip. I make him a drink. And he, he's like, I'm like, okay, is this good? Da, da, da. He's like, yeah, it's good. He's like, you look good. I'm like, thank you. Appreciate you. And he's like, yeah, um, give me your number. Give me? You want me to teach you manners? Give me? What do you mean give me, give you my number? I don't know you from holding the wall. Oh, Gorilla Glue? Just because everybody up in here screaming Gorilla Glue don't mean that I know Gorilla Glue. Why Gorilla Glue need my number? You the feds? You trying to lie me? So he's like, give me your number. And I'm like, mind you, I'm trying to get over the other one that I'm, I'm trying to get over the other one that I had. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Mind you, the other one didn't care at all. He didn't care. Like he's at like he. Like, and now that I think about it, he was cool people. He just didn't care. Like he didn't care what I did. Like like okay, let me just do this so I can get off the other one. And he's cute. Like he was cute. Like he was actually a very attractive guy. He, I'm like, what you need my number? Like I'm not just gonna give it up. I'm like, what you need my number for? He's like, it's not obvious. I want you. I'm like, oh, man, you want me? Okay, okay let's just see what the, let's see what's up i was young like y'all that was my fucking i'm young era everybody has a fucking i'm young era so he gives me his number because i took his number down because i'm gonna dictate when i want to text you you're not gonna text me just out of nowhere i'm gonna tell you when i want to text you you know so i take down his number he's like call you know how niggas call it just to make sure that you're not <laughs> call it right now so i have your number so i'm like okay he put a little nice little tip down. I guess he was trying to be impressive. He put a nice little tip down. I'm like, okay. You got money. Okay. You were hard for the money. Sorry, y'all. I get off track. Y'all know I got ADHD. Get home. I'm like, all right. Let me just see. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up with Gorilla Glue, right? First of all, I text Gorilla Glue. I'm like, hey, Gorilla Glue wasted no time. He called me. So I'm like, okay, energy. You're a cooler. I like that. Cool. He's talking to me. Da, da, da. Me and Gorilla Glue are actually like, speaking for i promise you like probably like a week and a half we were talking on the phone for like a week and a half things were cool i'm like okay like i can get you like he was very like he had like some roughness to him but he was also sweet because like you know like i'm not a little like i'm not uh you know what i mean like i'm gonna you say something i'm gonna say something back and i think he knew like you're not just about to gorilla glue i come from work one day i call him because he he told me call him after work so i'm like okay gorilla glue's like yo i want to take you out let's go on a date yada 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 i'm like okay okay <laughs> is this a little be ready my ex situation first i went to go out with my homegirl that day go with my homegirl that day because we already had prior arrangements so i went to go out with her and then i came back home i got dressed and i'm like okay first of all this is red flag number one he had me waiting for mad long not saying that you can't have me waiting, but you can't have me waiting. Like, you say be ready by this time, be ready by this time. And that just shows me, like, he's late or whatever. I'm like, okay, like, this, he's pissing me off. I got on this cute little dress or whatever, and I'm waiting. Like, I'm just chilling, I'm waiting or whatever. But this one, I had, like, no TV in my crib because I was a college student. Like, I was, this was, like, my little college job. Like, my little college, out of college job. Like, so, I was just back. I didn't really have no TV in my room, so I'm just sitting, I'm chilling. He calls me, he's like, come out. He's in the he's in the Uber. He's in an Uber and he just tells me come out, get in the Uber. So I'm like, okay. And it's already a little like late. So I'm like, are we really still going out to dinner? Like, I don't know. But I'm letting him so I'm letting him figure out what he gotta figure out because you told me to be ready. So you have to make sure that everything is planned. Like just like how if it was me, you know, trying to take you on a date. Everything would have been planned. You wouldn't have had to worry about anything. So get in the car. He's like, oh, you look cute. I'm like, thank you, Gorilla Glue. You know, he's being very nice, very sweet. And, you know, he gives me a little, he he goes in for a little kiss. I'm like, oh, slow your roll, buddy. So I hit him with the cheek stir because you're not about to kiss me. I don't know where you at. You late. You're not about to get no reward because you late. I had to explain to him, you're late. So you're not about to just be, you know, like, th like that's not what goes around on these parts, Gorilla. Mr. Gorilla Glue. You know what I mean? You're not about to just be late and then you about to think about to kiss up on me. That's not what's about to happen. So he get a little attitude, whatever. And where we're going, I'm a little unfamiliar with because I live around like this. I, I live around here. So I know where we're at. And I'm like, the way we going, ain't no, ain't no restaurants over here. Ain't no restaurants over here. So I'm getting a little like, okay, 
hmm, what's going on? He said, I look worried. So he's like, what's up with you? I'm like, nothing. I'm just, I'm just trying to see where we going. Like, I don't know any restaurants over here. And then he look away. So I'm like, hmm. So I asked him, like, where we going? He like, we going to just spend some time together. I'm like, spend some time together at a dinner table? It better be at a dinner table. I kid y'all not. Why the hell? We get up. We get up to the to the place. Baby, I'm thinking maybe it's gonna be like a little, you know, outback. I don't know. I don't know where he I don't know where he's taking me. I'm thinking it's gonna be like a little outback. I'm thinking, you know, he got a little surprise. I'm, I don't know. Maybe hibachi. I don't know. Hibachi be open late. I don't know. I didn't know where he was going to do. We we pull up. Baby, why is it a motel? You got me at a motel. You got Yo, I'm telling boy, my blood started to boil. <laughs> This nigga Gorilla Glue got me at a motel. First of all, when we pull up to the motel, the cab pull up to the motel, right? He walks out the car. Like, he hops out the car. He said, hold on. He's like, he's like, hold on. Okay, uh, what is going on? So, I'm looking around. Like, I'm in actual complete shock to the point where I can't see anything. I'm like, motel. Huh? Motel. Me? After I just get dressed? I dress up, dress up. You're gonna take me to motel? So I'm looking around because I've never been to motel anymore before. I'm looking around like, oh my god. Nigga, I feel like I'm pretty woman. You brought me to a motel? So he comes back. He's like, yeah, let's go. I'm like, let's go where? Where are we going? I don't play about my safety. I don't play about anything like that. So I'm thinking, oh, you brought me to a motel. You trying to take me out? You trying to take me out? That's really what you trying to do right now? Like, me, the thing about me, I'm such an overthinker. I'm thinking about anytime I'm in a situation that don't make sense, I'm automatically thinking you're trying to kill me. At this point, I'm not being cutesy no more. He's like, get out the car. So I'm like, okay. I get out the car slow. Like, he's like, why are you acting like that? I'm like, bro, what's up with you? Like, what are you doing? What's good with you? Like, I'm asking him questions. Like, what are you doing? He's like, bro, we're going to spend some time together, da, da, da. I thought we could just spend the night here. What? At this point, mind you, I'm young. Yo, I'm young, so I go to motel. I go to motel. There's already a cigarette stain in the bed. I said, oh my God, this is so ghetto. So I automatically text Jordan. And I tell her, hey, try this nigga got me at a motel. Like, I call Jordan because, like, I do a smoothie. Call Jordan just in case. He try to kill me, I know Jordan. Jordan's gonna pop off. It's none of that. Like, when it comes to my safety, oh my God. When it comes to my safety, my friends don't play. And out of all my friends, Jordan don't play. Like, oh my God, I look like, y'all, why do I look like Jordan? <laughs> Let me tell y'all how it actually ended. First of all, we're in the motel, and he's like, yo, you acting mad weird. I'm like, bro, you, like, I, like at some point I had to keep it nothing but a, you got me in this motel. Like I'm not like I'm not with the motel box. I don't know who you bring here. I don't know if this is like your regular. I don't know. Like I don't know. He wanted to cuddle up. He wanted to do the whole nine. I'm not here for that. I thought we was going out to dinner. I'm hungry. <laughs> he get upset. He started blacking. He's like, yo, you acting weird. Da -da -da. Like, who are you yelling at? The fuck? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you raising your voice at? Come on, bro. I'm not doing it. So the more I sat there, the more I realized it was ghetto. Jordan's texting me. She's like, bro, this you like, what are you about to do? Are you about to dip up the scene? Like what? So I'm like, bro, I'm I'm leaving. I leave. He's like, bro, you serious? And I start walking. I walked home. Walk home. I took a cab. Called Zion. Called called Jordan. Took a cab. Like, come on. This is crazy. Like, oh, she's lifting. I'm gonna fix it though. It don't take nothing to fix. Since then, I, honey, <laughs> no. I know my work at that point, so I'm like, bro, never did this nigga just take me to a motel. He texts my phone like, yo, you for real? You really gonna leave like that? Yeah, I'm gonna leave like that. Cause first of all, not only did you take me to a motel, but you gonna yell at me because I don't wanna lay up with you? Like, come on, be fucking for real. Like, I'm not about to. No, I don't know who you mess with. I don't know. I don't know you from a hole in the wall, gorilla glue. I don't know you from a hole in the wall at all. So you wildin'. Do I look like a motel type of girl to you? What, like, come on, be for real. A motel? Why are you even taking me somewhere in clothes? With a bed. And I just met you. We only been talking for a week. Fuck is up with you. And that's the that's the that's the thing about these young men. Okay? These young men think 
Not everything is gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. No, it's not gonna be booky. You're not just gonna pick me up. And you're not just gonna take me anywhere you wanna go. I'm not going to your crib. But yeah, that's what happened. He took me to a motel and I, I ran. <laughs> Can I tell you something? You would've thought I walked, I ran. I ran, it was too ghetto for me. But yeah, y'all, me working at <laughs> Lobster, there's a lot of stories that happen that I'm just like, wow. That was that. Big sack, a lot of hoes like Santa. Through a birthday party in a phantom. Big like a dinosaur did it. And you know, did it shine like a grill. Yeah, I sold up and had corn roll. I can see you nigga hang with the door closed. Now I'm looking for a glove with a sparkle on it. And my CBD got chocolate on it. Y'all, and follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is, I'm gonna put it up right here. And y'all can follow me on TikTok as well because why would you not? Let's see what I'm like on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, y'all, I am on. Mm. Hold on. This is the finished look, but we are at the end of the video. Guys, thank you for watching. If you watch the whole thing, you are a real one. And like I always say, if you with me, I with you, and we're gonna be together forever. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified in the next video that I post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.